Well, pre appreciate everyone being here. You held the rain off. It was great, but uh, I'll open it up for questions. After reviewing the film, could you talk about something that you liked and something that remains a concern for you? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what I really liked, Gene, was the uh, good question, the effort, the plus two mentality we're talking about. Just take a look at the tape. You know, the one thing, we made some mistakes, but we were physical, okay, and we had, you look at the tackles, seven, eight guys on the ball. Every time the run went to the sideline, the, the one miles there, shoot the next one to the sideline, we had seven, eight black and teal jerseys there, and that was great. Some of the things I'd like to improve on, you know, obviously right before the half, winning that two-minute drill. We go in, we win that drill, we get the ball coming back, now we get out and score, we're winning the game right there. So those are some things. Tackling was pretty good. We had a couple missed tackles on one one play where they had a swing route. The uh, corner missed it, not leverage, but for the most part, the physicality really liked and the effort. Yeah, what did you like about uh, Jihad in Baltimore that made you want to bring him here? And what role do you think he's filling into as we go? Well, one, he's a, he's a physical specimen in terms of the run game. He's big. He's 285 pounds. He can play four positions, really. And we talk about, you know, to, to win this division, you know, you, you go to you go to Nashville and shoot. You see what the Titans have. I mean, I mean, we you got to set edges against those guys, and then uh, that's what we brought him here for. And he just he, he has a great motor. He knows the system, and he can play inside and pass our situations. He plays outside and base. How would you feel your your young defensive backs played Henderson, Cisco, and uh, Campbell? Well, I tell you, it was you know it was great to see them all out there. CJ came out. He had a couple really good plays on the ball. I think there were two plays we. We could have picked off, and he had one of them down there in the red zone. And then they ran a go route. We had great pressure by Josh and right in the quarterback's face. He just threw it up, and then C.J. turned around and knocked the ball down. So those were two really good plays that he had. I think he, sh he showed his skill set, his speed. But, you know, he's, he's just a work in progress. You know, he had the injury, you know, COVID, and then he just gets out there. So he's getting better every day. Urban was talking about the balance of how much to show in these preseason games with a new – uh, scheme and a bunch of guys playing. How much do you guard against uh, you know doing too much while also wanting to make sure that those guys you know get a feel for what you want to do? Well, you know the, the thing with that is you you want to be able to play fast. You want to be able to value. But I also want to win the game. You know you you you, you play to win every game you have. You know, and I I think you know the guys that eva evaluating you, David Cully. I worked with for three years, so pretty sure David knows what we're going to do at, in Houston, Coach Cully. So I mean a lot of that gets overrated. I mean, when you're a new staff, I mean, people look at Coach Bevel where he's been, and they're going to say, okay, he's going to run that stuff. And, I mean, so, I mean, I think that gets overrated. You play to win the game. Now, each week you progress, you game plan, and then you put more and more in. Joe, you know, it's a new defense, but uh, defending screen passes, for whatever the reason, seems to be a struggle for the Jaguars. Obviously, a couple times, you, oh, you guys may have missed a, a couple of long Well, they had, they had three screens on second and long. So, first of all, you, it's, it, the, a screen is a run. So all 11 guys have to stop it, and we just got to do better at it. I got to coach better and do better, so it's no big deal. I mean, you recognize, turn, and sprint, and then uh, you force the ball back inside. And I, I tell you, on those screens that did break, the positive thing, we had two D linemen make the play, and uh, they were sticking their foot in the ground and redirecting 20 yards downfield. But we'll, we'll, we got to get it cleaned up, and we will. So Ur Urban said that he was a little disappointed maybe that they were so vanilla offensively and defensively. Do you sense get a sense that he wants to be a, open it up a little bit more and do what you're going to do during the regular season? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we brought pressure from the weak side, the strong side. We brought five. We played single high. We played two deep. We played three deep. So, I mean, we, we kind of did a lot of things. And the big thing that I was really impressed with going back, Cleveland's one of the best running teams in football. I don't care who they had lining up. They had 26 carries for 41 yards. That's 1.6 a carry. So we got to continue to develop that. Dave Bryan returned to practice today. Dave Bryan, full go at practice for the first time this camp. What did you see from him, and how confident are you? In well, you know, unfortunately, I haven't seen anything because Taven, I mean, he hadn't done anything. He was out there at practice today, so just a work in progress. Hopefully, he just keeps getting better. But today was his first day. Joe, what you like about the young linebackers uh, that made the Schobert trade make sense for you guys? Well, you know, and, and again, like I, I've said it, I said it the other day and someone had asked me and it was like, you know, we got Damien, who's been a two year starter at Kansas City uh, at Mike Linebacker. And then you dra we drafted Shaq Quarterman uh, a year ago. And, you know, there wasn't much tape to evaluate him other than college. He didn't play much. 
But the thing that we saw from him and the thing we saw from those young linebackers is speed, downhill thump in terms of knocking the run out. Damian, that's his strength. And, uh, you know, obviously, I mean, it was a decision we moved forward. Uh, best for both the organization and Joe's going to Pittsburgh. So I think when you saw 50 the other night, he was flying around hitting people. What about Russell? Chappelle Russell, that was a, is that a guy? Who Chappelle and, you know, shoot, Chappelle has, has great athleticism, uh, really good on special teams, and he's getting better. What did you know hey, about Joe? Shaq Quarterman yeah, yeah, before you arrived here? What did you know about yeah, Shaq Quarterman, and what has he shown to you? Well, you know, we, we looked at him when we were in Baltimore, and we liked him in Baltimore. And uh, and uh, and uh, just like his, his, uh, his plus two mentality, his physicality, and he's got one speed, and that's plus two, 100 miles an hour. Good, thank you.